My name is Rory Fitzpatrick. I am the Chief Executive Officer of the National Space Centre here in Elford Stone Art Station in Middleton. The people who would have most influenced my career would be my father and my wife. My father because he would have had his own business when I was young. Uh, so I saw what he did and, and I suppose we all to an extent copy our parents. Um, and my wife in supporting me in, in doing this and, and buying into the idea and giving me the space to actually try it. Well, I'm paid well enough. Um, the, as, as regards to whether I'm happy, it's, it's like being paid to, to do your hobby and to, to go and have fun. It's, it's like, you know, boys toys really, space. The Final Frontier, Star Trek, all day. I grew up on Star Trek, so for me, this is, every day is fun. I set up the company in 2010, so I created the job myself, effectively. Um, get up, shower, come to work, <laughs> go home, play with the kids, go to bed. Uh, that, like, it's very simple, but I suppose a lot of my, my job is travel. I have to travel an awful lot because this, there's, there's no real business in Ireland. This is an international service that we do for people all over the globe, for big space agencies, governments, for big broadcasters. So most of my life is out there selling the services to people all over the globe. Um, I've just come back from Jerusalem where I was there for a week at a conference. The week before that I was in the States. Next week I'm back to Knoxville. The week after I might be going to Russia. Now, it's, it sounds great and glamorous, but I don't like being away from my family for more than two days. So at the moment, I'm trying to cut it back. Um, if I was single and young, it would be a dream. Um, with my kids, I prefer to spend time at home now. So I suppose strategic planning would be the, the biggest part of my job, where I'm planning what's going on and driving it forward. The implementation of that through the different managers that I have here would be the second part. And then there's constant firefighting. You know, you, you always have issues or things that you have to focus on and jump. So most of my life is spent jumping from one thing to another uh, when it needs and, and, and when it sees fit. And then at the same time driving sales and getting in new business. You know, some days we would have a challenge for sales. Some days we have technical problems, staffing issues, uh, weather. You know, we're down in Middleton where when you get bad storms, the river floods and breaks its banks, you get power cuts. There's, you know, there's, it, it very, very much varies depending on time of year and what's going on. What's cool space. This, like, for me, this is absolutely so much fun. When you look at where we are right now, there's a couple of major points in human history. We came from the jungle, stepped out onto the plains was one one. We crossed the oceans as number two. Number three is we move into space and become an interplanetary species. And we're right there at the start of that. This is, for me, the most exciting thing of the whole lot. Um, everything we're doing now, and you can see that the general public are buying into this. It's all of the movies at the moment. In the 60s, you had a bit of this when people saw what was possible. And then we went to the moon. And it was massive and everyone was cheering and ticker tape and all the rest of it. And then it settled down because we realised what we couldn't do. We got to the moon, but in the process we realised all the things that we couldn't do. So science backed off and kind of focused on what we need to do to move to the next step now that we understood what it was like being in space. And since then we've been gently, gently probing, but now we're on the edge of a move to Mars. And I reckon in my lifetime I'll see a Martian born, which is really exciting. Not cool, people management. I hate it. It's one of the things that I despise doing, but it's a key part of the job, something I have to do, and it's something I'm not good at, so it's not my natural instinct. Determination would be the biggest skill, is just not, not letting it stop. Keep going, keep going. No matter what happens, you just keep going. And that's, that's the biggest single thing that I, that I would have as a skill. Um, I wouldn't have been what you would call a very studious student. When I was in school, I was mainly playing rugby um, and loved rugby. Um, didn't really like studying so much. But I did study Latin, maths, English, Irish, um, art, physics, history. 
Um, physics I was very interested in, and it's the interest in physics right now that helps me with work, but it's, um, it wouldn't have been something I was particularly excelling at at school. I had very good science teachers in school, and, and my interest in physics probably has pushed me in some way, I don't know, maybe. With this industry, you're learning every day. Every day is a school day. You've got to learn stuff. You've got to read yourself a lot. So I have to educate myself an awful lot on the technologies we're dealing with and what's going on in my sector. So it's self-education, really, more than anything. One thing that was a real giggle was meeting Buzz Aldrin. That was fun, having dinner with Buzz. He was a cranky old hound, but it was great fun meeting him um, because he's been on the moon. And for me in this industry, that's just mad. Um, yeah, that'd probably be one of them up there, but there's so many, there's tons of these things, like getting to the launch of Hatfield's mission in Kazakhstan. That again, for, for the team here was amazing. You know, so. Um, well, we were talking about this earlier on here because if you look at the staff we have here, they've come from all over the place. We've guys that are ex-Navy that have been comms officer in ships. We've people who, who have been involved in, in building work and ended up coming in here. It, it, it really is very random how people have ended up here. Often people have studied science in school, but they, they often have not gone and done science degrees. They've ended up coming and meandering through various different industries to get here. So most of all, it's to follow what you're interested in and what you enjoy doing. Like I say to the gang here, if they're not waking up in the morning wanting to go into work, they need to change jobs. Certainly for my job, you need to have a brass neck and just be willing to go out there and take rejection and keep plodding on. Um, with, with science and engineering, you tend to need, like a lot of the people we would hear, have here in those areas, need to be more attention uh, focused and be good on detail and able to go through process. Um, I, I have the attention span of a gnat, so I'm, I wouldn't be good, for example, for tracking process. Um, but our engineering gang here would be very, very good at that. Mm. So it, it, it depends on which job. And one of the things here, it's like, you know, they say, they say with rugby, there's a place for everyone on the team. In, in companies in space, there, there's, there's space for everybody. There's accounts, there's admin, there's the sales, marketing. You know, there's, there's, pe there's places in, in the company for anyone with any skill set, if they're interested. And if you're interested, you don't mind coming in early, you don't mind leaving late, you don't mind working weekends, it's, you're, you're doing what you want to do. 